Hey, my name is Daniel, the CTO for ADS Technologies. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you to install the ODK app. ODK is an app used for collecting data and um, just replacing your paper forms. Basically, that is it. Um, ODK is also available for smartphones running Android. Um, it's not yet available for iOS, so those with iOS, the iPhones, will not be able to use ODK. So basically, let's get started. The first thing to do is to download your ODK app from Play Store. So um, let's go to Play Store. It depends on your smartphone. You can have the grid or you can have your listing. It depends on your smartphone, but you all have Play Store on Android. So go to Play Store. And then on the search box, search for apps and games, type ODK Collect. Uh, you may have predictions, I prefer to select the ODK Collect. And then you see ODK Collect, the icon as a file on a clip. And so basically, you just need to install, tap on install like any other app. You wait for it to download and install on your smartphone. Um, depending on your internet speed and configuration of your phone, it may take a while, but I'm on 4G, so it might be a bit more faster. You wait for it to install. This is dependent on your smartphone. It takes a bit of time. You just need to be patient. Yeah, so after installation, you can open it from Play Store. But basically, I like to open it from my phone menu so we can go back or tap home. Most of the time, depending on your uh, smartphone you may have um, a shortcut on your home screen but I prefer to access it from my menu so I'll just go to my menu it doesn't matter whether you have grid or listing you can really search for it and then tap on ODK collect um, this is the app and then you wait for it to open and tap on and it's not open you just have to be patient to open you have allow ODK collect to access photos as a permission. Just tap on allow and then wait for it. All right. So basically, this is the user interface for ODK app. Um, you have the fill blank form, edit search form, send finalized form, view send form, get blank form, and then delete save form. I can decide to delete all the forms here and re, you know reconfigure it by this tutorial we are making it for teachers and juniors so basically um, kg to be for these are the teachers who are going to use it to collect data for GES. so the first thing to do when you are using odk collect is to configure the settings for odk so that you'll be able to send data to um, your admin whoever created the phone for you all right so now let's click on the three dots and go to general settings and the first thing to do is to configure your server that is um, who is receiving the data uh, where are you sending the data to so we will come to url let's tap on it delete everything there mostly i don't want to type the protocol so i'll just leave it here now we are working for GES, so we have to um, type in their server address. That is, when we send the data, who do we want to receive it? In this situation, we are sending it to GES, so we will just type their URL given to us. That's GESODK.org. Okay. And then type on OK. Um, leave the username and the password blank because you are not the admin. And then go back go to user interface that is um, how you want the app to appear when you open it we have theme we will leave it like that language we will leave it like that font size when you open the app we will leave it like that but i want us to configure the navigation how do you want to go through when you are filling a form i um, mean this we are going to select use swipes and buttons i normally prefer that and then leave all others as soon as you select an option it will appear in the menu here and then you go back um, maps 
if you really want to take um let's say your location you just select selected from maps and ODK will take it but we are not going to use that so now let's go to form management you don't need to change anything here I just want to show you some of the things that will be here in case you tap on it but you will not use any of these two options I think the default is even okay everything is fine and then go to user and device identity it simply means that who is using the form what device the person is using um, you go to form data basically this is where you see form dates metadata you see collect anonymous you see data basically ODK is an open platform so you can decide to uncheck or check this button it doesn't really matter but let's go to form metadata and then allow it and then username now ODK wants to especially your admin you want to know who sends the data so we prefer to use your full name um this guy this is not my full name okay but um it's just you know to show you how the app really works so i'll just type a name there your phone number you can use any phone number that you prefer i'm just going to use this by typing your correct phone number and then email the email that you want to use as you are sending the form because we can identify the user or contact you when the data arises i'm not using my correct email address because this is just a tutorial so you can just follow through um, i just want you to understand how everything works this uh, you can decide to all these uh, is device identity so you just need to fill these three username that is your name your full name uh um, your phone number and then the email address then you go back I think that basically that's all that you do here in the general settings. Now, before you fill the form using ODK, you need to get the form first before you can fill. So, now let's go to get blank form and then you wait for it to connect to the server that you input or whoever gave you the server address. Sometimes you may have errors, but um, you just have to reconfigure the server now with this form you are fill, taking the form for classroom teachers head teacher on the ghana radio worksheet but basically um, what the teacher is going to use is the first one accra parents phone numbers form there are other regions so basically i prefer you select all and then clear everything so that you have options to select the ones you want so for the teachers in b1 kg to b4 they are going to use the first one um, since I'm in Greater Accra, so I'm selecting the first one. If you're in another region, you can select the region you are okay. It doesn't really matter, but it's basically the same form. Just that it has been created that those in Accra will have specific form. It's just a name, you know, it's just a name. So you select Accra Parents form, num Accra Parents phone numbers form, and then you click on get selected. You can select the Accra People Worksheet if you're a head teacher. But basically the third one is not for you it's for the district but the first one is for the class teachers the second one is for the head teacher of that school um, so the head teacher may use the second one and the class teachers may use their first one so we are using the first one because we are using it for class teachers and then you click on get selected and then you wait for the server from one of one to download now after the server after the server has it's done downloading you will see this message and then tap on ok now the form has been downloaded but you won't see it as a list but it has been downloaded it will only refer to the form um, from your phone you don't need to do that manually okay then you come to fill blank form now we are going to fill the form that you downloaded so let's go to fill blank form um if you have downloaded any of the forms you will see it listed now which one are we going to fill then you select that and then you wait for it so basically this is the form you have your instructions the need that is the title is in the bar here you have the instructions uh, since we selected swipes you will see that we are going to swipe left and right you will just tap on next 
and begin to fill the form. Now basically the form is the same for all the regions. So you just select your region. Everything is pre-configured so you don't need to do much. So quit district IU, you can then you choose the district you want and go to next and to ask for security. Now anytime you see a red asterisk it means the compose mandatory field you cannot skip it and then you select your circuit and tap on next sometimes you may have this okay as soon as you select your circuit scroll down and select your school you can select any school you want everything has been pre-configured so we just select your school and tap on next then now this form you are filling one form for every people in your class because they are taking the data for every people in your class so if you have 10 students you are going to fill 10 team forms if you have 100 students you are going to fill 100 if you have 60 students you are going to fill for 60 students there are 60 forms so basically all the fields which is red and red not take max it means you, have, you just need to fill it so let's go through the form so name of people just type the name of the person okay the gender you selected and um, grade of people um, if you are in class 4 class 1 whatever so you select your class you can choose anyone but you if you are in class you can choose one at a time so you select your class now the parents phone number is also mandatory so this is where you um, type in the parents phone number I'm using a demo so I can just and then you confirm the phone number okay i think the first one is more than uh, 10 let me do this again all right then class teacher's phone number so the teacher who is filling the form the class teacher you have to input your phone number on every form okay when you are you tap on next and then you see swipe to the next and you tap on next mark form as finalized i normally don't like marking my form as finalized i always want to um, see form and then edit because you can make, decide to make changes to the form okay so let's save this form now your form has been saved so when you come back to the user interface you see how many forms have i saved you see the number written to it how many forms have i sent finalized form how many forms have i marked as sent to finalize so if you take the um, send finalized form all the forms you fill will be here and then you can select the one to send or you can just deselect and go back so now let's go to edit save form um, you will see the form that you saved you see the date and the time so the one you want to edit just tap on it so i just want to edit this one this one i just filled just wait for it to decide to go to start or go to end of the form let's go to start i just want to verify that everything i filled for the form is really correct okay so i'll just tap on next to make sure that everything i filled is correct um Let's quickly go through it and then when I'm done, I can decide to mark as finalized, save form and edit. Alright, now you will see that as soon as you mark it as finalized, you, you will see it uh, under the finalized um, forms. So how many have I finalized three? Now you've not sent the form, it's now finalized, it means it's okay. Um, so if you decide to send it, you can decide to select all. And send at the same time and the file will be sent to the server okay to genius because you have decided to send it because you've edited and make sure everything is right if not you can use the edits and then um, the edit the form to really make changes basically that is the idea and then send form has not been sent if I send this now it will appear under the menu of view send form now you don't need to get blank form for every people you just need to just tap on fill blank form okay and then select the one you want for all people and then the, the app will do 
and the same thing for you okay you don't need to you know get a form every time you need to feel for people so basically this is odk and that's how to use odk to fill a form anytime you go back it will ask you to save changes or ignore especially when you want to fill in a form let's ignore the changes and then you can um, go through this form it's very simple um, so basically this is how to use ODK to fill a form. Everything has been done for you. You just need to follow um, specific uh, instructions to fill the form. Okay, so basically this is ODK. Thank you very much.